Don't bother me with papers. I need a sign of good faith. What kind of good faith do you have in mind? You don't owe him a damn thing. He knows we don't have Michael. You want good faith? Get Carlo on the phone. Your, your room. Thought your dad would be here with you. Said a good or bad thing that he's not. The truth is, I... I don't even know how you feel about your dad. I don't know how you feel about me, for that matter. Are you glad that I'm here? Or are you screaming inside for me to go away? Sit over here. Let's go. No. My mom's still in here. We have to find her. You don't know what's going on. Someone's coming out. <laughs> Thank God you're okay, huh? Did you see Carly's? No. Where's your mother? I couldn't find her. <laughs> I drove up when the building exploded. Um, when I arrived, Sonny was coming out, and uh, a few minutes later, Johnny brought Michael out. You were inside the cannery when it exploded? That's right. With Michael? No, I found him screaming under a pile of rubble. Matt, oh, Carly's no. still in there, OK? We need to start searching for her now. Stop him! Whoa, whoa, whoa. hold up, sir. OK, Matt, Matt, don't do this right now. Look, we're sending firefighters into search, but we need an accurate list of who's inside. The south entrance is clear. You'll have to get your list from Sonny. I'm going to look for my wife. I didn't say you could go. My sister's in there. I'm bringing her out. You don't like it? Shoot me. I try to avoid Claudia as much as possible. She's even nuttier than her. Oh, man. And I don't need to blow buildings up to send my messages. You think Claudia did this, Trevor? <laughs> the bar. That girl is emotionally deranged. It's tragic, but it's true, and you know it. Was she with you? Is she all right? 
You don't care if Claudia dies. As a matter of fact, the, the fact that you've shown so much concern lets me know that you're up to your neck in this. Where is, is John? Is this where you were keeping him? He's alive and well for now. Did he make it outside this building, huh? Why did you try to frame Johnny as the text message killer? Was it my fault for making you jealous? Were you really going to trash Johnny's life just because I care about him too? Or did you already know how badly you messed up? Were you already sorry? I know how that is. When you put something in motion, you can't take it back no matter how hard you try. I'm not doing any good here tonight. I am going to come back and try to think of something constructive to talk about. Maybe I'll bring a car magazine and read it to you. Please wake up, Logan. It's the only way that anything is gonna be made right. Is that way. And why should I believe you? Then don't, Trevor. Wandering around like the walls fall in on you. I don't care. It saves me a lot of trouble. Please tell me you're trying to lie. I'm wasting my time right now. Did you do this? Police and fire department, can anyone hear us? <laughs> Over here. Oh, God, John, you're alive. <laughs> when did you start praying for me, what Trevor? Me? He's the one who kept you. I've been looking for you. Hey, are, are any of you injured? <laughs> will be if you don't get him out of here. Right over here, sir. Follow me. His head says, anyone see my sister? She's 5'6", dark hair. The only other guy can is a man, a, a Roger Powell. He thinks he works for you. Come on, John. Wait, let's there's go. another dead guy underneath that rubble over there. Put Mr. Mead on a course of steroids. If the medication works, we won't have to perform an invasive procedure. You sound like Dr. Scorpio. You're implying that I would compromise my patient to make points with Robin. You're wrong. My personal situation has no effect on my professional judgment. I was going to say that I think that you're making a good call. And if that has anything to do with Dr. Scorpio, then that means that something about your relationship is actually working. I'm sorry, I didn't uh, mean to eat. It's okay. Piffy makes it unavoidable. What can I do for you? I was just wondering if you had Logan's test back. I'll have him tomorrow, but I don't expect any change. So there's no way to know how long he'll be in a coma? The longer Logan stays in the coma, the more concerned we get. At this point, he's in an acceptable margin for recovery. He lost me. People have been in a coma as long as Logan and me have full recovery. Okay, so what are the odds? I'm not a bookie, but I think they're pretty good. Okay. Well, sometimes I talk to him and I think that he's gonna wake up and then I, I think that I've just been imagining it. You know, when you talk to someone for hours, your mind starts playing That's tricks on you. That's you need to take a break. You know, go home, get some rest. Come back the next day, but most of all, just keep talking to Did him. Did Bobby take else. Michael Corinthos home? Oh, they left about 10 minutes ago. I'm sorry. Uh, Michael Corinthos is here. Is he okay? Just some cuts and bruises, but uh, he's incredibly fortunate, considering. Considering what? Wait, why did Bobby have to take him home? Where's Carly? Uh, Michael and Carly were in the old cannery downtown when it exploded. Michael got out, but as far as I know, they haven't found Carly yet. Oh, my God. I have to go home. Harper, I, I heard my cousin Carly was caught in the cannery when it exploded. Did, have you found her? Uh, not that I know of. We are in radio contact with the firefighters who are searching so far. Uh, there's only been one girl rescued so far, and it's a... 